Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about a new online marketplace, or I guess new to my channel, DMarket. So DMarket's a really, really great marketplace for a large variety of reasons and I'm going to be talking to you about that all today. I did want to say that DMarket did sponsor this video, so make sure that you keep that in mind when you're listening to my review. It is a sponsored review, but I only take sponsorships that I do personally believe in and that I personally use, so you can trust what I'm saying about DMarket in this video. Okay guys, so the first feature on DMarket of course is the filters. You can access this by clicking on the little filter icon in the top right, and this is going to allow you to find the best possible deals and the best discounts on the entire website. The best discounts on this site can go all the way up to even like 60%, which is insane. You can take one of these off of DMarket, and then you can go straight over to Steam and sell it for a large profit if you wanted to do that. There is a lot of trade holds on items on DMarket, but that's not really a big deal when you're getting such a great percentage option. So continuing with the filters, what you can actually do here is just place in, you know, how much money you want to spend, what price range you want to put in for each of the items. For me, I have $10 on the website, so I'm going to put about $2 in so I can withdraw a few different skins. And then we can search around through all these different skins and, you know, make sure we have the right filters on it to get the best discount and find skins that we actually want to buy. So if we go ahead and do that, we you can see that there's a lot of different skins and a lot of different keys and all these different kind of things that you can withdraw on DMarket. A lot of them are extremely profitable if you were to just withdraw them off of DMarket and then go and sell them on Steam right after, you'd make a ton of money just because the percentages on DMarket are so profitable. And that's one of the best things about this site. When you take a look at DMarket's percentage profit margins versus like other sites like Bitskins, for example, DMarket of course has way better profit margins than Bitskins does on a wide variety of items. And like I was saying earlier, I just really believe in that as an entire marketplace. You know, they, they have really good margins for the buyer and they really do care about the buyer on this site. They give you a lot of good offers and the fees are very low as well. So what we can do is go ahead and withdraw a few skins here. I'm going to go ahead and find some that don't have trade holds just because that's a little bit more convenient for me. So we're going to go ahead and withdraw this Bloodsport MP7 Battle Scarred real quick here. And then we can go ahead and search around for a few other skins as well. There's a few, you know, good options here around this $2 price range. And uh, we're going to go ahead and find something that we do want uh, that we've been wanting for a while at least. I don't have a Galil skin right now, so I'm kind of looking for a good Galil skin. Uh, there's an Eco, of course. That one does have a trade hold though, so we're not going to take that one. Um, but the Galil that I do want to find is like a Crimson Tsunami because, you know, those are very nice to Galil. They're very cheap, and I can get one on DMarket for a very good price as well. So we're going to go ahead and keep searching here for a Galil Crimson Tsunami and Stat Trek Factor New, possibly. And, uh... And we're probably getting to around the price range that it should be at. So, uh, you know, there's stuff like 5-7, Angry Mobs, or even up to the Covert level in uh, this site. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick up a Stat Trek Factory new Galil Crimson Tsunami. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and, you know, widen our range a little bit so we can spend the rest of this money. There's a uh, Op Elite build Minimal Wear here that doesn't have a trade hold that looks very, very nice to withdraw. So let's go ahead and grab that thing right quick. There's also a few other items here, of course, that have pretty good uh, profit margins as well. But we're going to go ahead and take that Op Elite build. So what you want to do is just go ahead and click on that Buy button once you've selected what you want. It's kind of like a shopping cart would be on a regular website. And then it will process your payments and you can go ahead and withdraw those items. And after you've selected the items that you want, you can go and filter your inventory and find like precisely what item you want to find in your inventory. There's a lot of good inventory filters, not just overall site filters. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and sort for this MP7, which we can go ahead and then put uh, in our little selling cart, I guess you can call it. And then once it's in the selling cart, of course, we have this little quick sell price here. There's a little lightning symbol right next to it, which essentially means that it's a quick sell price. Uh, so once we have the quick sell price, we can click on instant sell. The uh, lightning symbol, of course, means that. And then what we can do from there is just instant sell the item for the price that it shows us here. So we're going to go ahead and instant sell this battle scarred MP7 because we don't really want to keep it and withdraw it from the site itself. So we'll go ahead and click on that and it'll start selling the items. All right, guys, the item has now successfully sold. It'll give you this little pop-up notification that tells you it sold successfully, and uh, it'll give you a little email notification as well to make you sure that you know that your item did sell on DMarket and for what price. Once you go ahead and sell the item, you can go ahead and just close out the window, and then you'll have the extra money in your balance. 
Now as you can see on screen, if you click that little notification bell up on top of the site, you can actually see your transaction history on DMarket. So as you can see, these are all our transactions we've made so far, and it shows you know the sell and you know the buy and everything that you do. Also another really cool feature is the exchange filter, kind of like CS Money has, but it's a lot better than CS Money's. So for example, if we want this butterfly slaughter that I just picked out here on the site, we can go ahead and select it and put it in that little cart area, and then we can pick an item from our inventory and click on exchange. And basically what this will do is the exchange will sort of act as a coupon, so you can use the items as coupons to get items that are more expensive and then obviously you can refill your balance to whatever you need to withdraw the item that you want. Another really cool thing here is that you can actually do cross game exchange. So if we want to go ahead and select Dota 2 from the top left here, we can select something like a Dragon Claw Hook, you know, a very good pure item. And then we can go ahead and put an item from CSGO that we want, and we can actually exchange across games. And then of course, you know, can refill your balance to complete the exchange as well. Again, kind of working like a coupon. So what we're going to do here now is go ahead and withdraw some skins from our inventory that we just bought. Uh, these don't have trade holds as well, so we can instantly withdraw them. And uh, so as you can see, you just go to your inventory, click on the new items that you have, and then you can click on create a trade trade or create all trades if you're doing multiple items and what you want to do is go ahead and get your trade URL you can do this by just you know of course clicking on uh, on that as well it'll take you to your trade URL area and then you can go ahead and just paste it in and click next and then you can go ahead and create the trades and then it'll create the trades extremely quickly it's way faster than a lot of other sites and it'll go instantly to your you know steam and you can go ahead and you know withdraw the skins pretty instantly. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the trading offers here. As you can see, it went through successfully. We got some really nice items here, the Stat Trek Factory New Galil, which I'm super happy to get. I've been wanting a Crimson Tsunami for a while now. I just think it's a really cool looking skin. And then of course we have the Op Minimal Wear Elite Build, which we can also withdraw real quick from our Steam, uh, from the market. And so once we get the bot request and we verify that it's real and everything, we can go ahead and withdraw the items. As you can see, they are officially in my inventory inventory and uh, we have them right here. Also as you can see the Opalipo is worth about $7.50 and the Galil is worth about $3.50 so you can see we make a we made a very very nice uh, a bit of profit on those items just because of the percentage margins on DMarket. So another really cool feature on DMarket is the target system. You can just access it by clicking on target. It'll bring up this little area here, this little uh, UI box that says target on it. And then you can go ahead and search for an item. They have, you know, of course, all items that are on the website. And then you can go ahead and select something. So we type in P250. We find P250 Ripple here, factory new. What we can then do with this target system is if we don't like the market price of the item, if we think it's too high, we can set a target on the item. So what we can do here is basically it'll show you the highest target price and the market price and everything like that. What you want to go ahead and do is if you have some extra balance left over, you can go ahead and set a target for the item, which allows you to sort of hunt items as well, which is really cool. And uh, you can go ahead and if you don't like the market price of an item, set a target, and then it will go ahead and give the person that is selling that item a higher instant sell price. So then once we have the target set, you can actually go to your current targets and you can edit them as well. So you just click on that little gear box once you go to your my target area and you can go ahead and edit them and make them higher so we're gonna go ahead and make this p250 ripple one a little bit higher just for contingency purposes and uh, you can go ahead and update and edit your targets from that UI. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to edit your on sale items. So basically once you have an item that you want to sell on DMarket, what you can do is go ahead and click on sale and then you can click on the gearbox just like you did for targets and you can edit what you have on sale. So we can go ahead and change this graffiti price to a little bit higher if you want to you know, get a little bit more money out of it. And then we can put the item on sale. You of course can also do it lower if it's not selling. And then as you can see, it goes back to your on sale inventory. So guys, that is going to be about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for supporting me. This is my first ever sponsored video uh, with DMarket and it's just really a great experience. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. Please consider using DMarket as a site. I would have not taken the sponsorship if I didn't truly believe in them as a company and as a project and as a site themselves. I think they do very obviously have the best percentage profit margins on the entire internet. You can actually use these profit margins to make a lot of money as well overall on your Steam Wallet balance. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video once again. Go use the link in the description below if you want to go check out DMarket. Please use the link in the description. It does help me out for future projects and future giveaways. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for the support recently, and I will see you all next time. Peace.